Hey guys, a uh, quick video to show how I got a uh, third extruder stepper motor to work uh, off of the Rambo board. Uh, took me a while, but I figured it out. Uh, what you need to do is you need to use these uh, MX1, MX2, MX3 uh, auxiliary ports for uh, external steppers. Uh, it wasn't that straightforward at first and uh, I had to figure out by playing with the pins over and over again uh, to, to actually figure it out completely. Um, if you look here, you can see what I have as a, a schematic. I used a, a A4988 uh, driver and I made a little PCB to uh, solder it all in just so I have nice connectors and everything's all pretty. Uh, as you can see, I have Repetier up here now, and I have it set to third extruder. And if I hit to spin, I got this motor moving pretty good. Uh, and there's still a lot of holding torque in there too. Uh, if I were to hold on to this guy. I spun. Whatever. It's got holding torque, so it's going to be able to drive filament. Uh, so, basically, what I need to do is I need to go in the firmware and change a lot of the pins on top of adding two more extruder profiles to the existing Rostock code. Uh, I did all this in Repetier. Uh, my plan is to put the, the diamond hot end up in here. Uh, Diamond recommends using Marlin firmware, but I, I chose to stick with the Repetier because Repetier is what the Rostock was originally written in, and I didn't want to redo all the, the UI components and uh, the, the controller, the, the LCD controller. So I, I just stuck with Repetier and tried to figure out how to do this with Repetier. Uh, main thing is you're going to have direction, step, uh, and enable. Uh, what you would think when you're looking at these MX ports right here, you have MX1, MX2, MX3, and then you would think that you would put like direction step, enable, and then minus plus, and then this would be for another stepper motor. Uh, I tried that at first, that, that didn't work. So what I realized that does work is if you do direction here, step, enable, and then... Uh, the row stock has uh, 16th micro stepping, uh, so with the A4988 for uh, 16th micro stepping, you need to have MS1, MS2, and MS3 all uh, pinned up. Uh, if you wanted an eighth micro stepping, you just need one and two, and then fourth would just be one, and then the, the, there's a combination of them. You can look that up on Plulu. Uh, but for 16th micro stepping, you need all three. Uh, what I did here is my micro steps go up this middle part right here, uh, which is the middle part, these three wires coming in on this uh, MX extension port. Uh, it was counterintuitive and I almost gave up on trying to do this until I thought maybe I should just go up this header and up this header, uh, not go across anymore, and that ended up working for me. Uh, main thing that I did to get the power I needed to get a, a VMOT power uh, I could have used 12 volts from anywhere in here but the 12 volts in here uh, aren't really uh, suitable for stepper motors the, the current isn't just consistent or it just isn't right uh, so typically uh, CME CNC sets it up and uses this uh, port right here as a uh, fan on the board uh, I needed to unsolder that and then solder these two wires in. And I'm using that for the 12 volt because this is actually, if you look really closely here, you probably won't see it on the video, but right in here up top, uh, it's a, it says VMOT auxiliary. So it is a VMOT port. It's uh, the guys who made Rambo actually put that uh, voltage current and all that in there for a VMOT. So it's better to do it this way. I'll find another. Uh, place to use the uh, board to cool down or use the uh, fan to cool down the board but uh 
yeah, everything works. Um, as for putting a, a fourth motor, uh, the only problem I could see you running into is a micro-stepping issue, which wouldn't be a big issue because you can correct that in the firmware. Uh, but due to it needing MS1, MS2, and MS3 for 16th micro-stepping, you're using six pins here plus the two uh, powers, so you only have three left over, uh, which would leave you no micro-stepping if you'd add another motor. Uh, like I said, you could take it down to like eighth micro-stepping and only use two, and then you'd have one for another, or... or uh, I don't know. Uh, I got three working. That's how, that was my goal. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I have all the firmware written uh, in uh, probably about another week until I get this uh, this diamond hot end in there. Uh, my big, huge row stock over there. Uh, yeah, that's it.